All right, so today we're going to be talking about many-to-many -many relationships. And the example we're going to use today are products and colors. Now that means that a product can come in many colors, and a color can also belong to many different products. So let's get started. All right. Now today we're going to be talking about many-to-many -many relationships and the two attributes we're going to be using are product and color. And as you can see, I have them on the screen here. These are the two attributes we're going to be working with. Um, now to start things off here, I'm going to bring up the product attribute editor. I'm going to show you this is mapped directly to its lookup table and to the fact table. Okay, And the same thing for color. It's mapped to its lookup table and the fact table. Now to start things off, I did not set any relationship. So there is no many-to-many -many relationship set. Um, and we'll get into why and I'll show you what happens when you do set that and we'll get into all that. But for now, to start things off, there is no relationship set. So now let's run a report and let's see what this looks like. All right, so now I have a simple report here on the screen with product and color. And now I'm just going to add my order quantity metric. Okay, and we're going to run this report. And you're going to see the results we get. We get all of our products and the colors and the quantity that we sold. Okay, so now this is a plain, simple scenario. It didn't need the relationship set, again, because both of these are on the fact table. So let's take a look at the SQL. And we'll see it's simple SQL, right? All it does is take is is select from our orders fact table, join the two lookup tables, sums the quantity um, by product and color, and that's it. So again, the thing I want to point out here is it didn't need a relationship to do this, right? Both of these attributes, although there's a many-to-many -many relationship between them, because they both exist on our fact table, in order to to total up the the order quantity, it doesn't need the, that relationship defined, right? It's able to just grab those attributes right from the fact table, get the descriptions from the lookup table, sum the quantity, and away we go. Okay? But now, let's suppose, and this is where the many-to-many -many relationship comes into play. Let's suppose that we didn't want to sum order quantity, right? Let's suppose all we wanted to know was what colors these products are available in, right? So this query, this, re this report is not going to do that for us. Right? This is going to tell us what colors these products sold in and how much sold, right? But if we wanted to know what colors they were available in, whether they sold or not, this is where the many-to-many -many relationship comes into play. So now, let's say we wanted to do that report, right? So what we're going to do is let's remove order quantity, okay? And we'll let the report re-execute, and let's see what the results look like. Aha! So these are the results. So as you can see, every product has all the same colors. Let's take a look at the SQL and see why. This can't be right, right? So let's go, let's look at the SQL. And you'll see here, it's doing a cross join, right? It's just taking the colors, cross joining to products, and that's why we're getting those strange results, okay? So this is where the many to many relationship and defining that relationship and that relationship table comes into play. So let's take a look at what that looks like. All right, so here we are back at our um, attributes and we're going to edit, we'll edit the product attribute and we're going to set the relationship to color as many to many. Okay, so we'll go down and we'll to our children and we'll add, we'll, drag, we'll select color, click OK and we'll set that relationship type as many to many. Okay, now notice we only have our fact table in our drop down here, right? So that's the, in other words, that's the only place that product and color exist together, right? So that's the only table we can choose here, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do that for now, and then we'll go ahead and, and I'll show you how to do this properly. Okay, so we'll save and close that. We're gonna refresh our schema since we updated it. Now let's go back into our report. We'll run our report, the one that did not have a metric on it. Aha, and now look at our results. They're very different. So now it's not, it's no longer just blind, doing a cross join and blindly relating every product to every color, but it's it's the same res, it's the same exact results we got when we had our order quantity on there, only there is no no metric on here. Okay, and that's because let's take a look at the SQL. That's because it's using the fact table, right? See? it's relating them through the fact table, our orders table. Well, 
Again, we wanted to see how many colors or what colors these products were available in, right? Whether or not they sold. But if it uses the fact table as the relationship table, well, then it's going to only have product and color combinations that people bought, okay? So now let's go ahead and take a look at how we do this properly. All right, so here we are back in Architect. Now I'm going to bring in a new table, and it's this table down here called Relate Product Color. I'm going to drag that over into Architect here. Um, and we'll Okay, and we'll select okay. We'll allow it to map color and product onto this table. Those are the only two fields on this table. Okay, now this table, it only has two fields, product and color, but this table contains every product and color combination. Okay, so now we're gonna save and, save and close this. So now the next thing we're gonna wanna do is before we run this report, is we're gonna wanna edit our attribute it's again. So we'll come down here, we'll click edit, we'll edit the relationship. So we're gonna edit this relationship, and instead of using the fact table as a relationship table, we wanna use the new table that we just brought in, relate product and color. Okay, we'll save and close that. And now we'll refresh our schema since we just modified it. Okay, now we'll go back to our report, and let's rerun our report, and let's take a look at our results. Ah, okay, so now you can already see we get many more products and colors, right? So now this is, even though these product color combinations haven't sold, whether they have or they haven't, that's going to be, that's going to just display here. Okay, so let's take a look at our SQL and make sure it's working properly, even though we can tell it is. So we'll scroll down, and yes, indeed, you can see it is no longer using our fact table. It's using the two lookup tables to get the descriptions and our new relationship table that contains our product and color um, combinations okay so hopefully all this makes sense and this kind of explains many to many relationships using a classic example all right so that'll do it please don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell and also check out jamestechtips.com for more BI related content and thanks for watching